Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to see about the locators. In this video tutorial, we are going to see what are the various requirements of locators. We are also going to see who are defining the locator, which are the parameters we have to understand during defining the locator. And we are also going to see various types of locators and its recommendations. So we'll quickly start about the requirement of the locators. Locator are not the load carrying feature. These are used to locate the part onto the another part and are essential to arrest the six degrees of a freedom of any part considering the X, Y, Z car coordinates. Locator should be completely engaged before fixing starts its engagement. You can see in the figure the first step is the before start of engagement. In the next image you can see the start of a locator engagement and at last we can see the assembled position of a locator. Locator must be designed with stiffness so that it should not fail during assembly. The entry point of the locator provided by the chamfer or the funnel like shape should angle between the 15 degree to 30 degree by thumb rule. Locator and assembly direction should be the same. Now we are going to see who are going to define the locator. Reference point system that is RPS concept is done by the product development engineering team and share with the OEM team and its geometry engineer. Second point is about the tolerance stack up will start to be executed according to the reference point system concept validated by the geometrical engineer. Analysis and result will be shared with the OEM and decision will be taken or further investigation will go on until the agreement. In this way, they can define the locator. Now we are going to see the locators and their functions. Primary locator. Primary locator are defined by the 3 to 1 principle and the main function of primary locator is to locate the part in assembly direction and second to maintain fit and finish that is gap and flush. These are the main two purpose of the primary locator. Now we are going to see the secondary locator. The main function of secondary locator is to assist primary locator during assembly and to improve overall fit and finish. Now we are going to see the fixation locator. The main function of fixation locator is to lock the part opposite of assembly direction so that it won't come out and second fixing strategy should be coherent with the RPS reference point system. Please note secondary locator are mainly used when part is flexible and accommodate the tolerance. Also in case of secondary locator, it is recommended to keep small gap between the locator and its hole. Gap is calculated by the tolerance stack up analysis. Now we are going to see the types of locator. First is the cross rib. You can see the image. It is recommended. That means cross ribs are recommended on structural part and avoid on the visible parts. Second type is the cross rib with the cylinder. You can see in the image. Cross rib with cylinder is recommended only for the small or big parts. Next is the U-shape locator. You can see in the image and U-shape locator is recommended for strong support for big parts. You can see in the image. 
नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ लोकेटर इज द एच शेप लोकेटर एंड एच शेप लोकेटर इज स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंडेड फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग द स्ट्रांग सपोर्ट फॉर द बिग पार्ट थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो